It must have been really horrible if my son got to the point where he would hurt my husband, my daughters, and I to take his own life. She'll never know exactly how horrible the bullying was. We had no indication that anything was wrong. He's the happiest kid we've ever met. Everybody who meets him says that. AJ kept a tough exterior and a smile on his face, despite what his mom is now learning from his friends as they pay their respects. About a year and a half ago, AJ was outed as a gay at Southeast Polk High School. And everybody got along with my son really well until they found out that he was gay. His friends say he was constantly ridiculed, not only for being gay, but because he was half black and was born with a cleft lip. He's different. He doesn't like add up to what they're used to. But what bullies considered different, others considered special. He was individual. Everybody who's met him has said he's a character. He never met a stranger. As much as some people couldn't understand it, that distinctive personality drew kindness out of others. It's what inspired this 2007 KCCI story about a dentist who met AJ and decided to give him a smile for Christmas. Other kids might not like make fun of me anymore because my teeth are going to be straight. From that innocent time until high school, the burden of bullies grew heavy on AJ. He lets the things that hurt him build up without anyone knowing. The burden became too much before anyone could do for him what he did for others. Several people who are gay or lesbian teens have told us that AJ saved them from committing suicide when they were feeling desperate. Now in his death, his family and friends hope he will continue to make that difference. Bullying is a big deal and it's still happening. You're hurting people with words. I lost my best friend because of words. And I really hope for AJ's sake that we can stop it so that maybe even if we could save one more life from bullying, that would be a success.